then oxygen derived radicals are also produced. So, multiple destructive products are released by the neutrophil into the phagosome so that bacteria is attacked by this product and bacterial antigens are now free. These are bacterial antigens and what will happen? Neutrophil will release these antigens free. Is that right? So, suppose this was the neutrophil, it was fighting, taking up the bacteria and it was digesting the bacteria into multiple small pieces and bacterial antigens are released. They will drain into what? What is this? Lymphatics. This, in this area there must be lymphatics. So, bacterial antigens will move through the lymphatics and somewhere down they will drain into lymph node where there are which cells? Lymphocytes. Is that right? So, these bacterial antigens, the neutrophil has taken up the bacteria, destroyed the bacteria, some of the bacterial antigens will be regurgitated from the neutrophil into tissue fluid and these antigens through the lymphatics will reach to the lymph node where there are lymphoid cells. Is that right? But macrophage will deal with the bacteria in a different way. Macrophages, I told you they are more advanced type of cell as compared to neutrophil. Macrophages are having a very special function. Not only they will kill the bacteria, not only they will bring the antigens of bacteria out of the bacterial structure, they will process the antigens and present the antigen to the immune system in a very formal and professional way. We will talk about how the macrophage work, right? You know about neutrophil, it just took up the bacteria, disintegrated the bacteria and released its antigens. Now we will talk about the very professional performance of macrophage, how the macrophage work. Let us draw one macrophage here, which happens to that it has engulfed this bacterium. Suppose this is a phagosome and this is the bacteria and of course, these are bacterial antigen. Again, bacteria has many antigens, but right now we will talk about immune response against single antigen. Let us suppose we just concentrate our lecture that how our immune response will build against star antigen. This is just an example, no bacteria has a star antigen. Is that right? So, let us suppose this antigen, I call it star antigen. Of course, we must make anti star antibodies. The whole purpose of this lecture will be that once star antigen is in your body, how your immune system built? anti-star, anti-star antibodies. So, for this purpose, first, first concept is that neutrophil has taken the bacteria and then lysosomal enzymes are released into this phagosome. This up to now, this step is just like neutrophil and these antigens are made free. Is that right? These are bacterial antigen. Right? But macrophage will not leave the story here. It is more sophisticated and professional cell. Let me tell you what macrophage will do very specially. Suppose this is the nucleus of the macrophage. In the nucleus of the macro macrophage on the chromosome number 6, how many chromosome number 6 will be there? In one macrophage, how many chromosome number 6 will be there? Yes, please. Two. One should be coming from mom. Another should be coming from Dad, I'm sure, right? There's maternal chromosome and paternal chromosome, right? Now we are going into my molecular level. What really happens? This is post chromosome number six maternal, and this is chromosome number six paternal. Anyway, on these chromosomes, in the, on the short arm, there are very special set of genes. A very special set of genetic material, right? Now. Let me enlarge this genetic material. This is the gene. This is a structure of gene. I have enlarged from there. This is a very strange type of genetic material that the genetic material which is at the top, all the time it keep on shuffling. It keep on shuffling, it keep on varying, but genetic material at the bottom remain stable. 
it is just like that you have lot of cards to play and in the bundle of cards upper cards you keep on shuffling and lower cards you never change just like that so probably these genes are playing cards over there in chromosome number 6 that this specific set of genes upper genes are constantly shuffling and lower genes are lower genetic material is stable now if from this genetic material you make messenger RNA of course from DNA you make RNA right if you take messenger RNA this part of messenger RNA will vary from molecule to molecule listen this is first molecule of messenger RNA we make from this genetic material now in this messenger RNA this part will be the same but this part will vary from molecule to molecule in different messenger RNA let's suppose that this genetic material shuffles three times in a given time and if it is shuffled this genetic material three times if you make messenger RNA then first messenger RNA may be like this second messenger RNA may be like this third messenger RNA may be like this now all of them are having constant portion similar but these portions are different from uh, messenger RNA molecule to messenger RNA molecule are you understanding it when they will be translating into proteins you know messenger RNA is translated into proteins when they will make peptide chain this was DNA this is messenger RNA from this messenger RNA when we will make the protein now these protein molecule from here which is derived it may be like this protein molecule which is coming from here it may be like this protein molecule which is derived from here it may be like this so what we really see that this genetic material is leading to formation of messenger RNA which translate into peptide chains and these peptide chains have constant tails but variable heads is that clear now you may be thinking why I'm putting so much stress on it there's a reason for that actually as soon as macrophage is activated start producing such molecules these molecules let's call them red molecules it is constantly producing red molecules there this is one red molecule this is the second red molecule this is the third red molecule and so and so forth it is producing thousands of the red molecules now what is the function of these red molecules actually these red molecules will be transported to this area and every molecule will try to fit the antigen in its pocket sooner or later by random chance some red molecule will come over here which is able to bind with this specific antigen again listen carefully it means macrophage through the special genetic operators in the chromosome number 6 they are producing special type of molecules and these molecules are having uh, variable area from molecule to molecule and these molecules go and they are trying to fit with the antigen sooner or later so at least one red molecule will be generated just by chance which could stick with this antigen and once the red molecule stick with this antigen let's suppose this is the antigen star antigen and this is the red molecule as soon as this red molecule fits into there antigen will be considered a precious antigen it will not be further destroyed because now macrophage has labeled it with a red molecule and this antigen now is considered a very important piece of peptide and macrophage will take these two molecules on its surface now these two molecules will move towards the yes surface of macrophage am I clear this